we are going to discuss a very important topic that is the query processing in distributed database. So, we know that query processing in distributed database plays a very vital role because we can process one query, we can optimize one query in multiple different strategies and ways. So, also it is also depending upon the speed of the communication network. So, that is why this query processing plays a very vital role in distributed environment. So, that is why to explain this one to have a better understanding we are going to discuss it through one numerical problem and these sort of problems may come also in your exams. So, see how that calculations we have done in this particular example. See we are having one example. So, that is one database which is having three tables. The first table is the supply table denoted by S and it is having two attributes one is the supply number and the one is the city and it is having 10,000 tuples stored at site A. Next one is the parts denoted by P it is having two attributes one is the part number and the one is the part color it is having 1 lakh tuples stored at site B. There is another table which is known as shipment denoted by SP and it is having two attributes one is the uh, supply number another one is the part number which is having 10 lakh tuples and all these tuples have got stored at site A. So, we are having th three tables distributed at site A and site B. Assume every stored tuple is 25 bytes long and that means 200 bits long. So, 25 bytes into 8 is equal to 200 bits long. The query is which is to be processed the query is get the supplier number for London suppliers of red parts. So, that means you are supposed to get the supplier number that is S hash for those suppliers who are from the city London and supply the red parts that means the part color is equal to red. So, if you write this particular query in relational algebraic form then it will be something like this. So, pi S hash so I require the supplier number only as output sigma city is equal to London and color is equal to red operated on S natural join shipment natural join parts where these two natural join this natural join will take place on hash S hash and this natural join will take on P hash that is a part number and here it is the supplier number. So, up to this this is ok. Now, let us get some more info estimated cardinalities of certain intermediate results the number of red parts is equal to 10. So, out of this 1 lakh tuples out of this number of huge number of tuples only 10 tuples are there which are having with the part color is equal to red. Number of shipments by London suppliers is equal to 1 lakh. So, 1 lakh number of shipments have been done by the London suppliers. So, this is two information these are the two information I have got. Next one is the communication assumptions. So, what are they? Data rate is equal to 50,000 bits per second and access delay is equal to 0.1 second. To access one database or table it will take 0.1 second and 50,000 bits per second that is 50,000 BPS will be the data rate. So, total communication delay. So, here we are estimating the delay which will be taken for due to the communication. So, total communication delay is equal to total access delay plus total data volume by data rate. So, total access delay means number of messages by 10 by 10 is coming from 0.1 and number of bits by 50,000. So, that will be the total data volume by data rate and to calculate the number of bits obviously we are having this particular value in our hand that is we are having 200 bits per record. So, if you can calculate that how many number of records into 200 I can get the total number of bits in the message. So, total data volume that is the total number of bits. So, in this way we have done this this sort of preparations. Now, let me suggest 6 different strategies. So, we can propose 6 strategies are there. So, out of these 6 strategies we will be going for respective communication time calculations the respective technique and obviously, we shall give you the idea of the estimation. Strategy number 1 
move P to A. You see, this P was only in at site B. So, let me move it to A so that all the information will be at site A, there the processing can be done. So, that is the first uh, proposal we are giving, strategy 1. So, it is 6 span 6 7 minutes estimated time. How? Because this is the access time and this parts is having 1 lakh tuples. So, 1 lakh into 200, so this number of bits by 50,000. So, you are getting this for 400 seconds, which is 6 span 6 7 minutes. Next one is strategy number 2 move S and SP to B. So, instead of moving P to A, let us move SP and S to B. So, let me check what is going to happen. And we know that S is having 10,000 and SP is having 10 lakh. So, now move S and SP to B. So, 1.12 hours, you see the time unit is now in hours, not in minutes. So, two uh, tables are to be moved and that is my 10,000 plus 10 lakhs into 200 by 50,000 is equal to not is equal to approximately 4040 seconds and which is coming around 1.12 hours. So, that we have written here. For each London shipment, check if part is read. So, for each London shipment, so I should have to check for each London shipment, I should have to check the part is read. So, it is 5.56 hours. Join S and SP on site A and check for London suppliers only. So, you are doing filtering here, selection here. And for each London supplier, check, check red part, check red part on uh, part on P at site B through query and response. So, for each and every, for each and every London supplier, I shall have to check whether the respective part is having the red or not. So, it will be done and the estimated time will be 5.56 hours. So, next one, for each red part, check if a London supplier exists or not. So, it is coming around 2 second. Restrict side B part, uh, side B part with red color only because at side B we are having this part with this red color. So, we have picking up only those tuples which are having the red color only and for each such record check the site A whether it got supplied to London or not. So, in this way the things are taking shape. So, now for this particular strategy we are having this 2 second is the duration. So, restrict site B part with red color. So, for the site B because B side is having this part with the color attribute is there. So, it will be restricting for uh, color red and for each such record check site A whether it got supplied to London or not. So, that will be taking the time 2 seconds. The fifth one move London shipments to B, move London shipments to B. So, from here only London shipments will be moved to B. So, that here I will be uh, having my part with the color red and all. So, that is why point 1 that is 1 lakh tuples, it is telling that, it is telling that the London supply is 1 lakh, it is telling that one. So, that is why 1 lakh into uh, our 200 bits per record by 50,000 is equal to 400 second is equal to 6.67 minutes. The last one is move red part to A. So, now this is my uh, having this part, we are having 1 lakh tuples, but frankly speaking only 10 tuples are having with the color is equal to red. So, it is better to move red parts to this site A. So, move red parts to site A. So, it is 0 0.10 second because 0 0.1 into 10 into 200 because 200 bits per record by 50,000 it is coming approximately 0 0.10 second. So, that is the 0 0.1 second. So, we are getting this one as the best. We are getting this one as the best and 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 this one we are having this one as 5.56 hours. It is in minutes, it is in hours but 1.12, it is in second, it is in meaning. So, this is the maximum time. So, this is the maximum communication time we are getting here. So, in this way I have done calculations and estimations of 6 different strategies strategy 1 to strategy 6 and here we have this is the several numerical values 
where those values have got used in this particular estimation and calculation. And I think now you are getting what is the query optimization and what is query execution estimation and how the query processing can be done in distributed database. Thanks for watching this video.